Okay, so we have our final exam practice program. And there will be a file for you to download. This is actually not the right file. I will fix that. Um, so in this program, we're going to read in data from a text file, use loops to create totals and display totals by person, and then sort the data in ascending order. So what you're going to have is an employee file, which will have listed package one or two for health insurance, HMO or PPO, and either Y or N for dental and Y or N for vision. If they have HMO, the usually yearly charge is 8,500, PPO 9,500, vision 350, and dental is 800. You're going to sort by ID number, calculate dis totals, display totals on screen, and print to file. So let's do that. So I have the file that it needs to read in loaded in the same file folder as my Visual Logic program itself, the executable for Visual Logic, and then I have started by creating arrays. Now, one of the requirements for the final and for this sample is to do your work in procedures. By declaring the arrays out here, I make the variables global, so any changes will happen to the global variables, so I don't have to pass data. The first thing that we need to do is we need to load our data. And I start by initializing cost to be zero. So I do a for loop, I through five, because we have six items, to set cost to zero. And then for each of my other items, I'm reading in from my file. And they're all done the same way. It's variable, first name, I for the incrementer. And you'll notice, since it goes out of scope when the for loop closes, I can use the same variable for each for loop. And it's from final sample input.txt and you want to download and use my file so that I can test it. And I will do that for each variable that I need to load. I have other procedures that I've created. I also have a sort data which I do second. So that after I've loaded it in, I create temporary variables and these are local, they'll only work inside of sort data once this procedure is over, they no longer exist because they're out of scope. And then we're doing our bubble sort, which you've seen before, where we go through the whole sort four times and then each one goes through actually five times, zero to four, and then through each one to watch it sort. So that it will sort by ID and if ID changes, so we're going to check to see if ID number I is greater than ID number I plus one. If I ask for descending order in the final, and I don't remember if I do or not, you just switch the direction of the sign there. And then it will sort by that order. So that's the sorting option. And you can go watch the bubble sort tutorial again if you need to get a review on how that works. The next procedure is my calculate cost. And this is the one I don't think we've done before in this way. And this is when I've given the final the past in the past what trips people up. Because now I have all the calculated costs in the same spot. So for I zero to five, we're going to add to total cost which starts at zero, the insurance plan. If insurance equals one, that's the HMO and the cost is eight thousand five hundred. If it's not equal to one, then it's nine thousand five hundred. Otherwise if the vision is, uh, the next if is if the vision is yes, you'll check that or no, and then we check to see if they've taken dental or not, and each one will add to the cost. Now you might have varying costs on the final, I think you do, but it would just go into a loop to check those. And so now when I go back to my final procedure, which is output, you have an output to the screen, you have an output to your text file, and then I have an output alert showing you that your file has been created and what it's named. So when you run it, it will give you everything sorted in order, and these are the correct answers, and it will tell you that it is sent output to sample output.txt in the same file as your executable for visual logic. So for this, you don't have an original one to create. I want you to do the exact same program I did so you can look through here 
and you can stop on each screen and see how I did it. But this should be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And if you can do this, you should be able to do the final program.